All right, Shalom. First and foremost, gonna give all glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Hakudash. The Bible understood the passage and the Great Millstone. All right, just finna get into this lesson. You know, you know the series that we're doing over here. You know, Indianapolis. You know, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. You know. So right here is called. You know, looking into it, it's it's not a lot of it's not a lot of uh information on it, but you know, it's a little bit. So it's called the hog's head, all right. You know, I got this from list listverse dot com, all right. And basically, it's just what 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 slaves had to go through, you know. What the, what the so called Negroes had to go through, all right. Actually, not even just Negro. I'm tripping. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. So it says, former slaves may offer the most harrowing accounts of slave abuse and torture. Moses Roper was born of his African and Native American mother, who was a slave to his English father. See, <laughs> father put his ass into slavery. After Moses escaped his bondage, he wrote a book about his life. He explicitly, he explicitly outlined various tortures. And in and ended, I don't know how to say this word indignities, indignities that slaves in America had to suffer. It says Moses recounted the sport and pleasure that some owners took in corporal punishment. Right, they, yeah, they hate because they Esau, you know, so called white man, they hate us, right? So it 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 makes them smile when they see us going through it, you know. It says, he described a slaveholder who hammered nails into a hog's head, large barrel, and left the nails point, points pressuring inside. So, obviously, you know, he hammered the nails to where the nails was pointing, you know, inside the barrel, you know. It says, and left the nail points. Oh, so like it says, his slaves were stuffed into these barrels and rolled down long, rolled down long steep hills, while the owner and the other slaves watched. See, what kind of shit is that? That's some that hey, that's that's some painful ass shit right there. You know that'll be stay. Hey, that's that's some shit right there for you to even think of some shit like that. See, so this is Obadiah one and ten. It says, "For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever." Right. So, yeah, man, Esau, eat them for all your atrocities that you've done against the nation of Israel. Hey, y'all finna, y'all finna be cut off forever, you know? Y'all, America's finna fall. All right, y'all finna go into slavery, and then y'all gonna be cut off forever. Y'all not gonna be, y'all not gonna be a people no more. And soon ain't gonna be a t such thing as an Edomite, as a so-called white man, you know? Why? Because these niggas are the most evilest things on earth, you know? So now I click on this little number five right here. It's not. I try to look for more more uh, information on it. It's not really nothing on there. So let me zoom in. It says hogs. Let's see. I don't. This page. This shit bugged out. But it says hogs head so as to leave the point of the nail just parturing the inside of the cask. Into this, he, he used to pay his slaves for punishments and rolled them down a very long, steep hill. I have heard from several slaves, though I had. Let's see, man. That's some bullshit. It's like, yeah. So, yeah, you get the point. You know, these niggas, get, hey, they got to go. <laughs> But look, let me get some real quick. Jeremiah chapter 50. And verse, let me see. Give me a second, Slacky. I'm just getting my sword real quick. Jeremiah chapter 50 
in verse in verse 29 call together the archers against babylon all ye that bend the bow camp against it round about all right and who were the archers that's the other nations all right and you know they you know what was the it says bend the bow it says all ye that bend the bow you know let me pull it over here all ye that bend the bow all right what's the bow it's them silos all right that holds the missiles all right so they got the bow they're the archers all right and they got the bow which is the missiles all right them silos which holds the nuclear missiles all right it says camp against it round the belt let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work according to all that she had done unto her for she had been proud against the lord against the holy one of israel right see all this hey y'all finna america's finna get destroyed for all the atrocities that they done against the children of israel you know you know hey this place america is finna fall by missiles by nuclear missiles you know because they've been proud against y'all by Shemel Shot. They got our people in slavery, doing all the, all types of atrocities to them. All right? So, therefore, this place is going to be destroyed and y'all finna go into slavery. You know? Uh, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to get real quick. Amos 1 and 11. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom... And for four, I would not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. All right, don't that sound like, like he had, like, don't that sound like wrath forever? Putting somebody into a, a barrel full of nails and letting them roll down a hill? That's some, hey, that's some painful ass shit right there. That, shit. And who know, who know, he probably beat him first, you know, he already bruised up, you know, but, but, but it's, let me read it over. It said, Amos 1 and 11, thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, right? What's the punishment? America being destroyed, y'all falling, going into slavery, all right, because, hey, man. When when we got you when when you are in our hands, hey, y'all are gonna y'all are gonna feel it. Y'all gonna feel the the anger that we that that built up anger, you know? Cause y'all by Shemel is gonna put his spirit on us, you know. But y'all gonna feel it, you know. So it's a it's a great punishment coming towards Esau Edom, so called white man, you know, for all the atrocities, you know. It says, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and they cast off all pity. Right. That don't sound like pity right there. Because, uh, hey, that nigga, hey, whoever was in the, you know, uh, um, the barrel, hey, that man could have died, you know. And I bet he didn't want him to die. He probably wanted him to, you know, stay alive and keep on working, you know. I bet that's what he wanted, you know. But that don't sound like some mercy right there. That don't sound like mercy, you know. That's evil as hell. So, therefore, your punishment is not going to be turned away, you know? Uh, it says, and did, and his anger did tear perpetually, right? Yeah, hey, you know, he's been, you know, he got that, you know, uh, uh let me get the word, fucking slip my mind. Yeah, forever, continuing, future, ancient of past time, right? Because they, they hated us all the way, you know? Cain and Abel, you know. Cain, you know, Cain was the first murderer, all right. He killed, you know, his brother Abel, all right. And that's that's the spirit of Esau Edom, you know. They 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 hate they hate the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. But that that wrath, that that anger that they have for us, that jealousy, has been all the way since since back then, you know. And so. And you 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 see it. You see that that they're you know uh, uh you know you see that their anger is still there, cause what kind of people, the shit you know you you look down our videos for thy violence against thy brother Jacob series. What kind of people would do some? Hey, it's some cruel shit. Cruel shit that these people has done to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
you know why because they have a it's this is this is this is a anger from from back then you know this is anger from back then you know and it says and he did and he kept his wrath forever you know so this is now i'm gonna get to jeremiah 49 and verse 12 for thus said the lord behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken and are and 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 art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished but thou shalt but shalt thou shalt not go unpunished but thou shalt surely drink of it right a hey, the so-called negroes latinos the native americans a y'all bashim al shah put us in slavery all right he, he had us in your hands all right getting fucked up all right all this stuff going on you think this was going to be life you think this is this is going to be this was going to happen forever no y'all bashim al shah is finna deliver his elect all right put the israelites back on high all right and y'all finna drink of that cup all right drink every bit of it you know and that, that comes with slavery all right just hardcore slavery the worst thing what y'all did to us because hey we're gonna have spiritual powers man bring you back alive you know we're gonna be shit it's gonna be hey man it's gonna be terrible for them in the kingdom you know i'm i'm gonna be a, personally i'm gonna be an asshole i'm gonna be a straight asshole to him and just i'm gonna be beating the fuck out of him you know with spiritual powers you know and i know hey brothers brothers be thinking of some crazy things because that's the lord you know that's the lord putting in, in our minds and our spirits to oh, i'm gonna do this when i get in the kingdom and then the lord is going to amplify when we get in the kingdom because we're going to have them new bodies you know so it says Hmm. No, no, that was it on that. That was it on that. Yeah. I'm good. Jeremiah 25 and verse. Wait a second. Let me see. Let me get in my sword, my Bible. I don't know. I, I know exactly where it's at when I get in my Bible, but when I'm on my phone, I don't know. <laughs> it's a difference. Yo, Jeremiah 25, verse 29 says, For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, and should ye utterly be unpunished? Or, and should ye be utterly unpunished? Ye shall not be unpunished. All right. So this is two scriptures right here talking about, hey, the Lord asking, hey, are you, you think you, you think you not going to be punished when my, when my people that, 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 that I gave a covenant to, that I've made a promise to, I punish them. You don't think I'm going to punish you? Y'all by Shemel Shah don't even like them niggas. He don't like no heathens. You know, so yeah, so it's a these another scripture right here. It says, "Ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth," said the Lord of hosts. Right? You know, and and hey, y'all gonna be punished, right? America's gonna be punished with the ultimate sword, you know, which is the nuclear missiles, you know. And then, hey, he saw even the so-called white man. Y'all gonna be, y'all still gonna be drinking. Y'all still gonna be drinking out of that cup. Cause hey, we finna put y'all into slavery. <laughs> we finna put you into straight slavery. This is Revelation chapter thirteen and verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, right? And this was what we're patiently waiting for. We can't wait for this day. Because these niggas have led us into captivity. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The so-called white man has led us into captivity. You know? And did some atroc atrocity things to us, you know? Atrocious things to us, you know? that This one right here. Rolling, rolling them in a barrel full of nails. 
you know, nails that's just sticking out. Skin, your skin is just, just getting torn apart. Come on now. Hey, y'all finna get it. You know, it says, he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword, right? You know, I'm finna be, yeah, y'all finna go through it, man. Because, hey, man, y'all about Shemel Shah. You know, hey, in Psalm 711, it says, y'all about Shemel Shah is angry with the wicked every day. You know? So, if y'all about Shemel Shah is angry with the wicked every day, he's seen all the things that his people had to go through, you know? And and he's seen all, all the things that his people had to go through, you know? So therefore, you know, he he can't wait to 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 allow his people to put hit to put their hands on on you so called on you heathens, you know, because all the heathens had us, you know, in slavery. All right, but not like but not like Esau though. Esau was different, you know. And we, hey, the the shit that we're finna do to him is finna be crazy, you know. So hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. You know, going to give all glory, honor, praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shemar Chagodash, the Ba'anus Hirapasin Eretz Grimostone. All right, Shalom.